California is now officially calling e-cigarettes a community health threat. In a new report that was issued today, the state is warning consumers to stay away from this very popular product. The study found the use of e-cigarettes has tripled among young adults between 2012 and 2013, and 20% of young adults who use them have never smoked real cigarettes. KCRA3's Mike Lurie is live inside a vapor lounge in Sacramento where there's strong reaction to this report. That's right, Evie. This is the vapor spot on J Street in Midtown Sacramento, where there is very strong reaction to this report just issued today by the State Department of Health blasting e-cigarettes. But the folks here, well, if you ask them, they'll tell you they believe that vaping is a much healthier alternative to cigarettes. Rachel Chong has been vaping for a year now. She believes she's much healthier since she dropped tobacco for the rush of e-cigarettes. Well, I can definitely run five miles now, and I couldn't before on cigarettes. It's a popular sentiment at the vapor spot, where many people are convinced vapor has helped them kick the tobacco habit. We have people all the time coming here to switch over from cigarettes to vaping. But this report today from the California Department of Public Health tells a different story. E-cigarettes contain nicotine. Nicotine is a very dangerous, harmful neurotoxin. It impairs the development of brains in youth. But e-cigarette users can customize the concentration of nicotine. Some like it in high doses, others want none at all. Yet the report found that e-cigarette poisonings are up dramatically in California, especially for children five and under. And the number of young people smoking e-cigarettes is also on the rise. In fact, in 2014, the use in 7th, 9th, and 11th graders in California exceeded the use of, of the regular tobacco cigarettes. The new report won't restrict the indoor use of e-cigarettes in any way, but the state is now notifying doctors, asking them to warn young people about the perceived dangers of e-cigarettes. But for vapor enthusiasts, the new report is being greeted with plenty of pushback. So will this report change your behavior in any way? Not at all, no. And I will try to get as many as my friends to, to stop smoking by vaping. And back here live at the Vapor Spot, these patrons believe that e-cigarettes have really helped them quit tobacco, although state health officials say there is no scientific evidence to back that up. So the fight continues and will only intensify in the weeks and months ahead. Reporting live in Midtown Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. Well, to the point of that fight, Mike, we know the state's now warning the public about these e-cigarettes, but are the rules about their use going to change? Well, you know, right now it's just an educational campaign, but the real test will be coming up uh, at the Senate. Senate Bill 140 would actually regulate e-cigarettes just like tobacco, restrict indoor usage. That's where the real fight's going to begin. We can expect hearings coming up in March and April. We'll follow that one very closely. Mike, thank you.